I'm not here to tell you to stop counting streaks or to talk about your identity as a fapper or to tell you that willpower is ineffective. You already know that, yet you're still addicted to porn. This is a no bullshit video coming from a guy who watched all the nofap videos you've seen, read all the books that you think is underground, and somebody who's jacked off three times in one night to overwatch porn and deep fake porn. I don't need your mom's credit card to buy my course for $999 per month. I just need your time, attention, and to lower your ego. The definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over and expecting different results. This is not a guide but rather the truth, the truth to set you free. For this video I urge you to drop everything you're doing and just just give this video your full attention. Trust me it will be worth it. When I was 16 and, you know, still in school, I was socially anxious and like really scared of talking to people. Little Dario was like a scared little boy. So when I found out about NoFap, I actually wanted to go hop on it so I could be more socially confident. I could talk to girls. But every time I relapsed, I, I kind of didn't want to show myself, you know, like as that creature that relapsed the next day that was drained of energy. But now life is good. I've fortified my mind, I've strengthened my body, I have improved my confidence, and I don't really need porn. So you might be asking, how did I get here? Now in this video, you will need two frame of minds. Expectation. You can't force understanding of truth when you have an expectation of what it is. You must be open to whatever result is there when you find the answer. If porn turned out to be beneficial for someone who wants a productive life, it would be intelligent to use it. Or if it turned out to be unproductive, you should not and find freedom. So what I want out of you just to lower your ego and have some humility and to really uh, have an open mind in coming in this video. Freedom comes from the understanding of where things come from, not the conscious attempt to end them. The second frame of mind is intelligence, aka thinking for yourself. What you consume doesn't make you smart. How you take the information, reflect, process it, digest it is what determines your intelligence. In religion, people meditate for hours trying to understand the deeper teachings in the scriptures so they can contemplate, digest, understand and find truth in it. Your solution isn't found in the external world, but rather inside you, the internal. You need to understand yourself. This is the key to the mental prison that you're in right now. Most people, they consume something and then a new belief is formed. Intelligent people, they read it, they consume, they digest, they process, they think of it makes sense and then they find truth not because someone said it but simply because they understand and see the truth in it grounded in reality. It is the truth that liberates, not your effort to be free. Part 1. Education and Truth I need to clearly state something right now. Abstinence is not recovery. Let me repeat that again. Abstinence is not recovery. Anyone can go for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days just by sheer willpower, but then they relapse and then they get depressed and then they start over again. It's this very destructive mindset. You haven't changed the way you think about the world or about your relation to addiction. This isn't recovery. You now have the opportunity to change something about yourself. If you watch to the very end, you will find the truth and you will find freedom. The benefits of quitting porn. Now, everyone likes to refer to the benefits as the, the no fat benefits, right? But really, there aren't any benefits. But if you think about it, right? Imagine the norm. Everyone is drinking poison. A poison a day keeps your thoughts away and everyone's drinking it. Now imagine you stop drinking it, you feel better, you have this clarity, your stomach feels so much better. It wasn't the benefits of not drinking poison, it was the absence of the negative effects of drinking poison. Because everywhere it's normalized, everyone is watching porn. If you see the porn statistics, there's like 50 billion visits per month. There are 8 billion people on the planet. You know how fucked that is? Remember this, quitting porn has no benefits. It's only the absence of the negatives. So then what does porn actually do to us? Because there's a lot of confusion, you know, it says it makes you so it makes you anxious, doesn't make you confident, it really screws up your dopamine, depression. What we want out of porn specifically is the dopamine. Don't confuse it with sex, don't confuse it with ejaculation. We actually want porn itself, because this is a drug. You see, dopamine is actually not pleasure, but the craving, the motivation to go do something. Why do you go out to this specific venue, this restaurant? Because you want to eat something in there. You're motivated to go there. This is dopamine working by itself. You remember, oh yeah, that Big Mac. Then you order the Big Mac. This is dopamine acting out. You need dopamine to motivate yourself to go eat food, to go drink water, to go out and work and get bread, to get money, to record these videos right here. You need dopamine for all of these things because dopamine is motivation. If you saw the experiment on rats they did, they put dopamine blockers on these rats and these rats literally just like sat still 
for like days and days and just died because they didn't drink anything they didn't eat anything and they didn't do anything they just sat still and died because dopamine is so essential to motivate you to do things for watching porn andrew huberman refers to porn as like a high dopaminergic activity so something that gives a lot of dopamine and so when you go watch porn it's quite it feels very exciting, you know, this motivation, this drive to go open the browser to sort of find the best video and skip to the best part. This is motivation at work. But after you orgasm, there is a crash of dopamine. And this has to do with the dopamine baselines. Everyone has a dopamine baseline. And whether your baseline is high or low can determine your motivation to do things. If you have a high dopamine baseline, you're very motivated and driven to do quite delayed gratification activities, to go for a run, to go work out, to go talk to people. You're very driven to do and chase your goals. Where if you have a low baseline, you're very lazy, lethargic. You're a bit anxious as well. Doing normal things don't feel as good. The only thing that you can reach is TikTok scrolling and video games because that's the only thing that's appealing to you because they provide that instant dopamine and so when you watch porn you get this craving to watch porn your baseline increases 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 until your orgasm and then it crashes and throughout your whole day now you have this prolonged baseline and if you keep on doing this again and again and again your normal baseline that would have been here to be motivated to go out to go exercise go socialize would drop you would have a prolonged decrease baseline now you probably found porn when you were like a child when i was 12 or 10 11 you were trying to find free movies on one two three movies or put locker or go go anime and you stumbled across these pop-up ads these porn ads. So if you've been watching porn for a while, your dopamine baseline is probably very fucked and very low. Even though porn does have all these effects with the low baseline, it isn't the reason why you go back to porn because porn isn't the root problem. It's much deeper than dopamine. So why do we get the urge to watch porn? How do we end up just watching porn all the time, just on autopilot? Over time, as the years pass and we start to grow up, life becomes a bit more stressful every single year, a bit more difficult, a bit more scary. And eventually we start to realize that we've been using porn to cope, to deal with these, these issues. I remember when I was like 11, around 11 to 12, I was getting bullied in school and I didn't know it at the time, but I, I, I was thinking like, oh, it's okay if, if today sucks. I have porn at home that I can jack off to. I didn't know it at the time, but I was, I was literally using it as like a crutch, like a, to cope with, uh, with the bullying. And it provided this sense of comfort. Over time, we have strengthened, we have reinforced this neural connection that porn helps us with reality. And this is very dangerous because every time now, the automatic mechanism kicks in when we feel stress when we feel anxiety when we feel boredom when we feel nothing at all we go watch porn it becomes like an automatic mechanism that kicks in whenever we feel fear anxiety all these things anytime we feel these unpleasant emotions from deeper rooted issues we watch porn to help us cope and as we do it more and more and more we become desensitized our dopamine baseline becomes lower it becomes fucked requiring more extreme videos which can lead to really like fucked up videos, like let's like animals penetrating people. Normal activities like socializing, creating art, producing, reading, learning, all these things become dull. Nothing feels good anymore. We're not really motivated to do the things that keep us healthy, to exercise, to talk to people. The only activity you seek is the quick rush upon to pull the dopamine lever. Now let me make something clear. You don't actually want to have sex with someone you don't want to orgasm you don't want to ejaculate when you get an urge you're not actually asking to ejaculate or to have sex with someone your brain is actually asking to watch porn wanting to watch porn desiring porn not the connection and intimacy with someone but rather the unrealistic tits the round asses the novelty of it having as many girls as you want the positions the extreme content it wants that it doesn't want connection you don't miss ejaculation or sex you miss the drug you miss getting high of porn. And this is why people hop on a dopamine detox so they can reset their baseline to be motivated to do things again, not to crave the rush of porn, but to crave real connection, to crave doing exercise and socializing and events. And a dopamine detox certainly does wonders, like it does help, but it doesn't fix the main root issue, the main problem. You cannot quit porn from a dopamine detox because you're motivated by dopamine to watch porn. So how do we take control of ourselves? Through understanding, you need to understand the trap. Most people who watch porn have started to depend on it to manage their emotional state. Feeling sad? Watch porn. Feeling depressed? Watch porn. Failed school? Watch porn. People bullying you? Watch porn. Have zero friends? Watch porn. Porn is 
your savior. Then it comes to the point where you find nofap and you really realize how damaging it is to your mental state, to your life. But without it, you feel this emptiness, this very real void that exists inside you. For your whole life, this is what got you through your pain. The times where you were alone, you were sad, depressed. This is what got you through everything. And when you take away your life support, your only way of coping, you really see this void you're staring at. The feeling of nothingness. You feel weird without it because it has become so ingrained into your life that you need it to feel normal. If not, you feel nothing. You would rather feel the highs and the lows, the excitement, the shame, the guilt, the pain of watching porn than to feel absolutely nothing at all. The void. This very thing that you're trying to avoid. This is where the easy peasy method comes in. You probably read the easy peasy method and felt like it was like this underground book. You found the secret. But if you're in the category where you read it, it hasn't changed anything and you keep on rereading it, then this section's for you. The easy peasy method states that you feel deprived because you still see the perceived benefits in porn. Yet many guys are still addicted and they try rereading it because they haven't instilled the perceived benefits and haven't got rid of the brainwashing, which is what they like to call it, the brainwashing. And don't get me wrong, easy peasy was a game changer for me to understand all these issues about relying on it to manage your emotional state, but it's just one part of the picture here. You see many guys, including you, for years you've been relying on it to deal with very deeper rooted issues, your lack of sleep, your inability to regulate your emotions, your terrible mental health, hating your life, having no direction, no purpose, nothing to wake up to. You see, there is this very real void when you don't have porn because porn is the only good thing in your life. And that's a sad realization to face. You use it to distract yourself from, from this pain of, of the life you're living. You use it to deal with stress, boredom, anxiety, to feel something, to feel pleasure, helps you avoid your lack of meaning in your life. This is escapism. Every time you watch porn, it only temporarily relieves the issues that you're dealing with. You use it to deal with your stress, yet it creates more stress by frying your dopamine receptors. You use it to cope with boredom, yet you're making your life even more boring. You use it to help with your anxiety, yet you create more anxiety. Nothing ever feels good to you. You experience this sense of anxiousness. But the thing is, even with or without porn, there is still this empty void. Although Easy Peasy states that porn perpetuates this void, this emptiness, there was a reason why we wanted to fill this void with porn in the first place. Unhealthy sexual expectations and views. When we stop watching porn, we're leaving behind thousands of 10 out of 10 porn stars. Girls with round asses and big tits. We forget to realize that real life isn't like that. We've been programmed to put sex on a pedestal to crave and lust it like it's the most important thing in the world. This is further programmed into you with the hyper-sexualized music videos, YouTube content, TV shows, movies, Hollywood, Netflix, anime, video games, media. It leads to this expectation, this entitlement, that we deserve to be fucking porn stars and models every single day. When in reality, it's very unrealistic unless you take massive action, do the hard work when you don't feel like it, or you're Jordan Belfort or Bruce Wayne. We have this very delusional view of reality. And then when we go out and start meeting real people for the first time, we get angry when we don't get laid. And this makes you come back to porn every time. Our happiness cannot be based in banging hot girls. And you need to learn to live in a world without your online harem of porn stars. Otherwise, we lose the ability to connect with people. Only looking for partners for shallow pleasure rather than intimacy and connection. You think sex, porn, and ejaculation will make you happy. These sensations. When really happiness doesn't come from the future. It doesn't come from these sensations. But it comes from right now, at this moment. All your happiness is self-generated. Counting the days. It sounds really stupid, but you don't need to keep on rewarding yourself for not drinking poison, for not hurting yourself. It's like day 30 of not drinking bleach. Do you know how retarded that sounds? Like I see all these these Redditors and these people who stick their, their days on their forehead in their Reddit account. It's like, I'm on day 1000, I'm on day 900. Like the purpose of, of NoFab was to be free of porn. The days don't matter. Freedom doesn't come from day 30, day 90, day 1000 but comes from not needing it anymore, right now. Being focused on the streaks and how many days you haven't watched porn was never the goal. Remember, abstinence is not recovery. After 30 days of sheer willpower, you just might watch porn to reward yourself. You still believe in it, and you still use it to temporarily relieve these deep-rooted issues. The root issue hasn't been solved. Willpower. Now, I said I won't talk about willpower, but I think I should just bring it up anyway. For those who are still using willpower, let me explain it like this. Using willpower is kind of like swimming upstream, trying to reach the very top of that stream. Everyone told you, oh, you can only be free if you swim to the top of the stream with sheer 
power and strength, but you're fighting against the waters that are crashing you, trying to push you down to the very bottom of where you started. But eventually you'll get exhausted. Now, some people might get up there, but it's only a few people. You never had to swim to the top to be free. If you were the lucky ones, you may have looked around. See, everyone was swimming, trying to reach the top of the stream. But then you saw the side of the stream. No one's swimming to the side of the stream. There's a beautiful forest on the side of the stream that no one is swimming to. So then you look around and you start making your way, swimming to the side of the stream. You reach the very end of the banks and then you climb out and begin your journey walking through the forest. You see, you never had to reach the top of the stream, yet most of us keep on swimming. How do we exit the stream and start our journey? How do we fill this void? How do we deal with these deeper rooted issues? This is exactly what you guys have been waiting for. The truth to freedom. Now, I assume you were listening to me and you heard that I was talking about the dopamine baseline, how porn destroys your dopamine baseline, and then you read easy peasy and watching porn creates the void and all these negative things about porn. But let me tell you something, something that will blow your mind. This is the truth. Are you ready for the truth? Porn isn't the reason for your unhappy existence. Porn isn't the reason why you procrastinate. Porn isn't the reason why you're depressed, why you're lonely, why you feel empty. It's not because your dopamine baseline is fucked. It's not because porn has caused you to be stuck in this perpetual cycle. It's not because you haven't reread the book multiple times. Porn isn't to blame because porn is the symptom, not the root cause for your unhappiness. So what's the cause for me going to porn? You, you are the problem. This mindset of I will start living when I quit porn is destroying you. This is the cause for you going to porn. It is your fault. Why is it your fault? It's because of the reality you live in. Your lifestyle, this this lifestyle, this reality devoid of any meaning of purpose, of direction. You have caused yourself to want to escape from porn. You have caused this emptiness in your life. You would honestly rather feel shame, guilt, excitement, the highs and lows than to rather face your life. You still see the benefits in porn because this is the only thing that you can use to feel something. Normally, if we didn't have porn, we would feel this void, this emptiness, and we would start looking for meaning and purpose and start living life. Instead, we distract ourselves by watching porn, blaming it and trying to quit. You see, you don't quit porn to start living life. You start to live life to realize you don't need porn. People who love their lives, they they don't watch porn. Why would they need it? Like, I'm, I'm not going to like turn off the, the camera right now, take my phone off this tripod and literally jump in bed to go jack off. Why? I'm perfectly in the flow state right here. People who love the life they created transmutate all their energy, all their life force into this purpose, this direction, this meaningful mission. So how do you know? what your purpose is. This is the biggest dilemma on why so many guys are lost in this generation. Purpose is the problem. How you beat the best archer in the world is by taking away its target. If you don't know what to do with yourself, this is the biggest issue that you're facing. This is the most pressing, the most important thing that you need to deal with right now. I cannot tell you what your purpose is. No one else can tell you. Your family can't tell you. Your friends can't tell you. Books can't tell you. Only you know exactly what you want. And I think this is the first time that anyone online has told you to figure it out yourself. So how do you really know what you want? Let me ask you something. Is there something that you wanted to pursue? Something that you wanted to chase? Something that you wanted to do, but you were afraid. You were, maybe you were afraid of the opinions of others. Maybe you were afraid of failure or fear what other people may think of you, or you fear that you're not good at it. What would you do? if you knew you couldn't fail. And whatever your current purpose is, shouldn't be based on pleasure, shouldn't be based on ego, shouldn't be based on the opinions of others. You're doing this because you find fulfillment in it. Not because anyone else or this person said that or this person said this, but because you genuinely find true enjoyment, fulfillment in this. Something that puts you in this flow state, the sense of presence that time passes by and you can just keep on doing the work. When someone experiences presence, flow. This is the time that people report being the most happiest. Your flow state is your ticket to peace, happiness, and your dream life because peace and happiness can only be found in the present moment. It could be editing. You love adding images, music, videos, text, and compiling together to create this video art, this awesome video, or you're a writer. You love compiling your thoughts, 
your wisdom and notes all into this piece of text to help and teach the younger generation what they really need to know. What puts you in the flow state? Because the road to living your dream life is your dream life. The present moment is the only thing that fills the void. Your flow task, your dreams, your purpose. This is the deeper rooted issue that you're not dealing with. You may be unhappy in this, in this job or in this sort of lifestyle that you've created. You don't really like your friends. You hate where you are in life. And it, it's normal to not like where you are. But what's not normal is to lack purpose, to lack meaning. This is essential. So this is my actionable step. Sit in a room for six hours, no technology, no devices, nothing. And just ask yourself, what would I do if money didn't exist and I knew I couldn't fail? What is something that excites you? After six hours, or maybe a couple of days, or maybe even one day, you'll get your answer. Because we need you to start taking action now. We need to start building your dream life. And remember, you don't quit porn to start living life. You start to live life to realize you don't need porn. If you're still struggling to find purpose, I'm going to be creating a video in the future and maybe it's uploaded already. But if not, go to the description right now, click the link, join my discord to become unchained from this addiction, to find your purpose. My intention is just to provide a bunch of value to you guys so you guys give back to me whenever, whether it's through a like, through subscribes or through just support. My goal is to help you build this awesome lifestyle and to help you quit this addiction and become unchained. This is Dario Didi Chong. I hope you found some value in this video, bro. And so yeah, send me a DM after this video, bro. I'm waiting. Peace.